So what we're looking at here is a very simple proportional only controller programmed into this PLC. We have exactly two math statements. One up here takes a set point value and subtracts from the process variable and generates an error. Here, we take that error value, multiply by a gain, and then add to our bias. So it's as simple as we can possibly be here in proportional control. I guess we could have also put this into this one math statement. I could have done everything in one single math statement if I wanted to. However, we're going to find out later when we calculate uh, integral, it's nice to have the error as a separate variable. Looking at my data view right here, you can see the five floating point variables I'm using. DF3 is the output. DF1 is the process variable. DF5 is my set point. DF7 is the bias. And DF10 is the gain. Currently, I've got a bias value of 80%, a gain of 3, a set point value of 40, and my process variable is holding steady at about 45.7. So about 5.7% error. Since this is a proportional only controller, you're always going to have some offset or error. Uh, I shouldn't say always. You would usually have an offset or error at all but one magical set point value. If I increase my set point here, let's say to 60%, and I save that, I write that to memory. You can hear the motor comes up to a higher speed. The PV also jumps up, and we're now 61%, and it's doing a pretty good job controlling. If I slow this down with my finger, you'll see two things happen. You'll see the process variable value go down, and you'll see the output value go up. It's an actual controller, so it's going to fight that change. Here we go. I slow my, with my finger. The output value really spikes up. I can hardly slow it down more than about 5%. It's fighting back so hard. It's doing such a good job of controlling that I can't slow the motor down very far without burning up the tip of my finger. So what we have is a definite proportional only controller. I can change the gain value right here. For example, I can go to a gain of 5 just to show you what that will do. And you can hear the motor start to oscillate. What's happening now, we've got excessive gain for the process. And as a consequence of that, it's starting to oscillate. I go with a different set point value, say 70% instead. Here we're into a region of the control of the process where we're definitely unstable. I have too much gain. Now, class, just for review, when you were controlling this very same motor process, the same desktop process using the Siemens controller, how high of a gain could you tolerate? 0.7, 0 0.8. Remember a, while, a gain of about 1.0, we started to get unstable? Yeah. How come this can handle a gain of up to 4? Faster. It's faster. What's happening with the Siemens controller has a slower scan rate. As a consequence, more stuff happens in that dead time. So you have to tone down your gain. You literally have to detune the process just so the controller doesn't mess things up. Here, the PLC has a much, much faster scan time. As a consequence, we can get away with a higher gain value. If we were to have an analog control on this process, the analog is as fast as it gets. We could uh, uh, tolerate a much higher gain value than even that. <coughs> because this is a very fast-acting process, uh, you really need a fast-acting controller to keep up with it. The slower the controller scans, the more problems you have with this. In fact, we shot a short video and put it on YouTube showing a DISTEC building controller which scans about twice a second trying to control one of these motor speeds and it was going all over the place because that very slow scan time just wasn't fast enough to keep up with what the motor was able to do. So the faster the controller scans, generally speaking, the better quality of control you're going to have, especially with a fast acting process. Now that disk tech controller was perfectly okay for controlling the temperature of a room because honestly how fast does room temperature change? But when you're talking about the speed of a motor, things happen like that. So you need a controller that's just as fast. Make sense? <coughs>